So let me give you an example of what you can say when you actually visit a store and you want to get a job. Because for part-time jobs, no special skills are required and the employers are mostly looking for people who they can trust. That if you walk around your campus, you will notice that there are a lot of jobs posted all over the campus, especially just before the summertime. What's up YouTube, it's Shivansh here and welcome back to my channel. If you are an international student who's planning to come to Canada, then this video will be super useful for you because today we will talk about how to find a part-time job in Canada. Now, when we come to Canada as an international student, we are usually very nervous because we have no idea about how to find a part-time job. And we also want to start earning as soon as possible so that we can manage our expenses, pay for our rent and also start saving for the next semester's tuition fee. So in today's video, I will tell you six effective ways to find a part-time job in Canada and also how I was able to find my first part-time job as an international student in Canada in just one week. So before starting this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos about studying and working in Canada. And with that being said, let's start this video. Now the very first and the most effective way to find a part-time job in Canada is to just walk into a store and drop off your resume. This is the simplest and also the most effective method and I can guarantee that 70 to 80% of you guys will get your job within one week just by doing this. So what you need to do is print 10 copies of your resume every single day and start visiting stores around your house and drop off your resume. Now the question is what type of stores? So you can visit grocery stores such as Costco, Walmart, No Frills, Shoppers Drug Mart, etc. You can also go to food chains such as Starbucks, Tim Hortons, McDonald's, KFC, etc. Or any local restaurants such as Indian or Mexican food joints or any clothing stores such as Zara, H&M, Gap, American Eagle, etc. Make sure to drop off your resume at every single store around your house or your college and don't just give up if you've already applied to like 10 places and you're not getting a response because the more places you apply to, the higher your chances are of getting your first call in the first week alone. One mistake that a lot of people make is that they visit a store but they hand over the resume to the cashier or to whoever they see first in that store. But that is actually the wrong approach because most likely that cashier or that sales associate will not even pass on your resume to the hiring manager or to the person who is actually in a position to hire you. And in most cases, your resume will end up in the dustbin and you will never even hear back from that company or from that store. So you need to always ask for the manager of that store and always hand over your resume to the manager in person. Don't trust anybody else to hand over your resume on your behalf because that may not ever happen. Another very common problem that a lot of us international students face is that we are very nervous about visiting a store or talking to someone and asking for a job. I have also personally I personally experienced this because when I came to Canada as an international student and when I was looking for my first part-time job, I was also very nervous and very shy about talking to people and just asking to random people to give me a job. And let me tell you that this is very common and happens with pretty much everyone but you need to get over your fear of talking to people and just go out there and ask people if they are hiring, if they have any job vacancies and just submit your resume. Don't worry about what people will say or think about you because to be honest, it doesn't matter to anyone. The worst that can happen is that they will not hire you because you are not a good fit and in that case, you can just move on and start applying to other places. So don't think too much about it. Just go out there and start applying for jobs. So let me give you an example of what you can say when you actually visit a store and you want to get a job. So what you have to do is you need to take your resume and just go to a store and walk up to any employee and say, Hey, my name is Shivansh and I'm looking for a part-time job. Can I please talk to your manager if he's available? That's it. Simple. And in most cases, they will just call their manager and then you can say, Hey, my name is Shivansh and I'm looking for a part-time job and I was just wondering if you guys are hiring or if there are any job vacancies. And that's it and then the manager will ask you for your resume and for your availability. And worst case, if they are not hiring or if they don't have any vacancies, then you can just thank them for their time and move to the next store and just repeat the same process. Now sometimes what happens is that you walk into a store to hand over your resume to the manager but the manager says that you have to apply online and they only accept online applications. This is more common for corporate companies. So let's say if you want to apply for a sales associate role at Apple or Best Buy or TELUS, 
then in that case you will have to apply online and they might not accept in-person resumes so you will have to visit the websites of these companies and search for any job openings for that specific role in your area and if there are then you can just create your profile and answer a few questions and then submit your resume and then if your resume is shortlisted then you will hear back from them now these sales jobs definitely pay you a lot higher because of commissions but at the same time they're also a lot more professional and also require a professional resume as compared to let's say applying for a job at mcdonald's or tim hortons etc and if you want to work for these bigger companies then you should definitely check out my video on how to create a canadian style resume it will definitely help you get a job in canada faster the next way to quickly get a job in Canada is to ask for a referral from a friend or a relative. Now referrals are super effective for part-time jobs because for part-time jobs no special skills are required and the employers are mostly looking for people who they can trust and who they can train to actually work for them. So if your friend will refer you for a job at their company, then their boss or their manager will actually feel confident about hiring you and they will also be able to trust you easily as compared to a random person or a complete stranger. So referrals are a quick way to get a job in Canada and try to make as many friends as possible once you land in Canada because you never know which friend will be able to refer you to their company for a really awesome job. The next way to get a part-time job in Canada is through college or university job boards where they mostly post about on-campus jobs. So if you want to work at a restaurant or a cafe on campus or even as a teaching assistant or a research assistant, then all these jobs are posted on these platforms. Now you actually have two options here. The first one is to go to the online student job portal of your college or your university and find and apply for jobs from there. The second option is that if you walk around your campus, you will notice that there are a lot of jobs posted all over the campus, especially just just before the summer time there are a lot of jobs posted where people want to hire seasonal painters event decorators cleaners etc so if you are interested in any of these roles then you should definitely check out these job bulletins all over your campus now my suggestion for you would be to try to get a job on campus preferably as a teaching assistant or a research assistant or even at an on-campus retail store because for these on-campus jobs no SIN number is required and you can work for as many hours as you want. And for off-campus jobs there is a limit of 20 hours per week so you cannot work for more than 20 hours every single week for an off-campus job. So because of this reason on-campus job is the best type of job you can get. Another way to find a part-time job in Canada is to apply through online job portals such as Indeed or also through kijiji.ca so what you need to do is you need to visit kijiji.ca or indeed.ca and then search for jobs in your specific area so for example if you live in Brampton or Mississauga then you can just enter that and you will see all the different jobs that are available in that area and you can reach out to these employers by just calling them or just sending them an email okay so the last way to find a part-time job in Canada is through recruitment agencies now these recruitment agencies in Canada have tie-ups with factories and other companies and they can help you get a job as a laborer or a worker in factories and also in some administrative or bookkeeping roles. And sometimes if you are lucky then you can also get a job that is really high paying as compared to the minimum wage. So for example the minimum wage in Ontario is $15 but if you are lucky then through these recruitment agencies you can also get a job that pays $18, $19 or $20 per hour. And you can find these recruitment agencies by just searching on Google for recruitment agencies in your city or in your area for example, recruitment agencies in Brampton and then you can just contact the recruiters who are hiring in your area. So if you want to work for a factory or something, then these recruitment agencies will be very helpful in that. So that's it guys, these were the six effective methods of finding a job in Canada and if I talk about myself, then I was able to find my first part-time job in Canada and that too in the first week itself by the method you guessed it right, the first method of going to each and every store and dropping off my resume personally. Out of all these different methods that I've listed, personally the first method has worked really well for me and I think this is what you will also realize when you come to Canada and start applying for your first job that people here are very open and very welcoming and if there is a job vacancy then they will be more than happy to hire you for that role. So you basically need to do two things 
One is to just get over your fear of talking to people and just go out there, talk to people, ask for a job and hand over your resume. And the second thing is to keep applying for as many jobs as possible because the more number of jobs you apply, the quicker you will find your first job. With that being said, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos about studying and working in Canada. And if you have any questions, then feel free to comment below and you can also follow me on Instagram at Shivan Singla. 119 and I'll be happy to answer all your questions and I'll see you guys in the next video